You know, Dad's legacy is very similar to a quote by Theodore Roosevelt. Theodore Roosevelt once said, it is not the critic who counts, nor the man who points out how the strong man stumbled or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs and comes short again and again, who knows the great enthusiasm, the great devotions, and spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst at least fails or daring greatly, so that he shall never be with those cold and timid souls who know neither victory nor defeat. I love that quote because it's a reminder to me that my victory has already been won. I'm already successful. I became successful the moment that I decided to do my best, the moment that I decided to get into the arena. As Rocky Balboa said in the movie Rocky, I just want to go the distance. And if, you're, if you remember, in Rocky Part 1, Rocky did not win, but he went the distance. And he proved that real success is not about winning. Real success is about having the courage to try. Having the courage to step outside of your comfort zone. Having the courage to get into the arena. Having the courage to do your best. Holler, can you hear me? So it really doesn't matter what's on the scoreboard. What really matters is that every day we do our best. You know, to really make this point clear, let me play for you a song. Check out this song. Track one. Check out this song. Michael Jordan once said, I failed over and over and over again, and that is why I have succeeded. I love that quote because I realized that what I learned in my valleys helps me to get to my mountaintops. In fact, I wouldn't be at this mountaintop if I didn't have my valleys. I wasn't popular at all when I was in school. It was hard to sit down the hall. I felt like a fool. Kids can be so cruel when somebody's different. The guys call me names and the girls stay distant. I had a little stutter and I didn't learn fast. Butterflies in my stomach every day in class. I felt bad because I had love inside. But nobody took the time to ever know I was a nice guy. All the day falling tore me down. But I didn't know then it would mold me down. What doesn't kill you, fills you. Pound for pound, my endurance allows me to go round for round. I'm the heavyweight now. See the passion in my eyes when you overcome pain? It's no surprise. Break up for the bullies in my life. You know why? Why they try to break me down? Again, no matter what has happened in the past, 
we can always start over again. Now, of course, we do have to face the consequences of our behavior, and our behavior has consequences. Holler if you hear me. Yes, our behavior has consequences. But it's never too late to start over again. It's never too late to press the reset button. In life, there is a reset button. Unfortunately, there is no rewind and there is no redo button, but in life, there is a reset button. And it's never too late to press the reset button. It's never too late to start over again. The winners are those that realize that the past does not equal the future. Our biography does not have to become our destiny. And so therefore, we do not have to live in the past. In fact, it's very unhealthy to live in the past. Because if you live in the past, you die in the present. Holler, you hear me? If you live in the past, you die in the present. If you're holding on to the baggage of the past, you'll never be able to fully embrace the present moment. You must let go of the baggage of the past, but always hold on to the lessons that we've learned from the past. And that's a very key point, because good judgment comes from experience. And experience often comes from bad judgments. So as long as you always learn from your mistakes, then even your mistakes will become part of the process of your ultimate success. How do you hear me? I get so excited. I get so excited because this material is so real. Let go of the baggage of the past. Hold on to the lesson that you've learned and move forward. Move forward. And every time you fall, pick something up while you're down there. Pick up only the lesson and move forward. This is very important. This is very important because in life, all of us have to become one of three things. A potato, an egg, or a coffee bean. A potato, if you place a potato in a hot boiling water, the hot water will change the potato into becoming soft, right? An egg, you place an egg in the hot boiling water, the hot water will change the inside of the egg into becoming hard, right? But a coffee bean, if you place a coffee bean into hot boiling water, the hot water will not change the coffee bean, but rather the coffee bean will change the hot water. And so likewise, as we go through hot water, meaning as we go through problems and struggles and challenges and insecurities, and frustrations, and disappointments, and stress. We don't have to allow the hot water to change us into something hard and angry, nor soft and weak. But rather, we can change the hot water into opportunities to learn and grow stronger. Because really, every struggle, every challenge is an opportunity to learn and grow stronger. Because as we know, our problems are just personal development exercises that are designed to prepare us to achieve our purpose and our destiny in life. Our problems are blessings in disguise. Now, of course, these things are easier said than done. And that's why my next point is the most important point of all. Please always remember this. Always stay connected to your source of strength. Now, listen, I'm not here trying to tell you what to believe spiritually, but I am here trying to tell you this. Always stay connected to your source of strength. Always take time to do things that will strengthen your values and your faith and your beliefs. Because connected to the source of strength, you will have the power to drop the weasels and fly like them. Holler when you hear me. Holler. For this next activity, everybody please stand up and stretch your arms up towards the ceiling. Stand up. And lean to your right. Stay standing. What we're talking about here today is very important, especially as you prepare to begin this next chapter in your life. We're talking about dropping the weasels, letting go of negativity. And this is very important because every single day of our lives, we all deal with negative thoughts. 